Hello, this is Elect Zero again, and uh, it's been a while since I posted a video, but uh, I'm going now to post a thing, a video on how to use get var and put var. It's a way to get variables and get and store variables from files in a very easy way without having to open the file and VB6 and do all the other random crap that takes forever. Okay, so open up VB6. And once that loads, <laughs> alright, open up just a regular standard program. Now, let's see here. I generally create a new module to put my functions in so that I can access them from all my forms. If you want to put them in your form, you can. The functions will be in the description so you can copy and paste those uh, let me get these functions here Close that. Uh, remove that. No. okay <coughs> see here are the functions the get var and put var and stuff okay yeah it doesn't make that much sense alright so let's make two command buttons just doesn't really matter where they are. Have the first one and call it in the name CMD uh, put var. And then change the caption to put var. You don't have to, but this is just so you can keep it organized. And the second one to CMD get var in the name and then get var in the caption. Alright, now you. Now let's double click on put var. Double click I say. Okay, there we go. And do call put var. Open parentheses. And you should get file as string bold. Bold and bolded. I don't know how you say that. But it should be bold. And then you just like you can type in C colon backslash to put a file in your C drive. Or you can type app dot path the little curly Q and thing on your 7 key, I don't know what that's called, which that separates variables and stuff if you want to add variables, uh, parentheses and whatever you want to call your file. I'm going to put it in my C drive, just because. Test.ini. You can use any file, but generally um, when you use get var and put var, you uh, use an ini file. Alright, close. Uh, whatever. And then click comma should see header as string in bold. Okay, well, see how how um, get vars and put vars work. <coughs> They've got you've got uh, a name in brackets. If you look at the file, you've got a name. You've got a name in brackets, and then you've got uh, another in, under that. You've got a uh, like a, another name equals whatever. Well, the name in brackets is this the header so now what you want to do is you want to type in I'm just going to type in test you can type in whatever it doesn't really matter and put a comma uh, and, and make sure to put that in uh, quotation marks and put a comma and you should have var as string uh, bold quotation marks test one it doesn't really matter comma oh make sure to end quotation marks yeah, in quotation marks around all these things, and then value as string. Just put this is a oops, test. Doesn't didn't really matter what you put. Um, just so long as you put something, and then hit clo and close parentheses and hit enter, and now it should be capitalized and all that good stuff. So run your program and click click the button put var your first button, and then close the program and didn't visibly do anything and then go into your C drive which if you're on XP you go to start my computer C drive if you're on Vista you just go to start computer and see whatever and once this loads eventually okay there it is test.ini 
to open this up. It should see there it is. Test in brackets. Test one equals this is a test. See? That's how you'll have all your variables. And stuff like that. <laughs> so that's pretty simple. Don't you agree? Well I would. <laughs> Alright, go ahead and close that. Now for the second one, get var. Now you can't use you can't get a var from a file that doesn't exist. So you have to put, you have the file has to exist first. All right, let's double click on get var. That's why we did put var first. And then you want like let's do a message box. msg box and uh, you don't have to do a message box. At least I hope you do. And then the for the prompt just doesn't really matter. Just, then just type get var. Actually, don't put anything for the prompt. Just have the parenthesis, and then type in get var. Uh, parenthesis. It says file is string. So type in whatever file you did for the put var. I did c colon backslash test to ini, comma. Then for the header, type in whatever header you did. I did test, and your variable. I did test one. I think. Yeah. All right. And then do that. And then two parentheses to end that and then run your program and click get var and it should pop up with whatever variable you typed in for put var in my case it gave me this is a test so that's how you use get var and put var if you have any questions just comment or send me a message on youtube or you can email me if you feel like it um, alright this is elect zero hope you learned a bit alright bye